So in this task we're going to be generating some simple ideas using geometric shapes and we're going to be practicing our sketching techniques. Now before we get started we're going to warm up by just sketching out and practicing just different boxes and circles and ellipses and triangles just to warm up and get our um, brain thinking about how different things are can be put together using some simple shapes and some more complex shapes. Here I'm practicing sketching out some triangles. Uh, some triangles are quite stable looking like this right angled one and this equilateral triangle. But other triangles can be made to look a little bit more dynamic and um, by making all the angles within them different and the lengths of the sides different. Other things that we can sketch are combining shapes together like this circle and this ellipse rather than joining them, you can actually subtract one shape from another. Random creative squ uh, squiggles can be quite useful um, to make things look interesting. And parallelograms and sloping uh, shapes can often look quite dynamic. So have a practice of these, please. Now, the task that you're going to be asked to do is to come up with ideas for street lighting. Um, what I'd like you to do to start is draw a line, uh, which is going to be the ground. And then we're going to just think about those shapes that we had a little practice of and start combining them together to create as many different ideas that we can. And you'll see here that as I go along, I'm really not making things too complicated. I'm just um, drawing lines and circles. Here's a curve coming in. Um, and an ellipse and as I do it and I'm sketching I'm thinking what bit could be the light and every bit that I think might be the light I draw some little lines on to indicate that that is where the light is coming from. Some of the ideas I'm going to make smaller than others because there's no saying that this um, street lighting has to be small or tall or fit into any usual conformities of street lighting that you might be used to. We want them to be creative and we want them to stand out. They're also all 2D and sometimes I'll shade them in a little bit to indicate a solid surface. This one here, I'm repeating some boxes. That's really useful because uh, repeating shapes, we quite like seeing things like that. Stand out and look good. I'm practicing drawing an arc here, and in my head, I'm thinking about this one could be an archway that you walk through as you're walking along the pavement. Contrasting shapes like this squiggle contrasted with the block below it could offer visual interest. This one here, simple lampshade design, but I've just curved on. complex 